Good morning, Titans. Today is Monday, May 8th, 2023. You're here with your host, Abigail. Please rise for our national anthem. Good morning, Holy Trinity. Today, we begin with a statement acknowledging the land on which we gather. We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe nations. We recognize that the Brand Falls by Norfolk Catholic District School Board and its schools have many ties to the Six Nations of the Grand River and Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations, situated on the traditional land of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe, within the two row wampum and the one dish, one spoon treaty areas. As a Catholic learning community and as treaty people ourselves, we strive to build the kingdom of God where all people are treated with respect and dignity as we move forward as allies towards truth and reconciliation. Good morning, everybody. I wanted to, uh, before I start with the prayer, I just wanted to remind all those who registered for the grad retreat tomorrow, uh, you would have all received an email from me over the weekend. Uh, so you can check your emails with more information about um, the day tomorrow. Um, if you didn't get an email from me, then you can email me and I will send you that email. Um, but on to prayer this morning. Uh, before Last week was Catholic Education Week, and before that, we sort of started down the uh, this gifts of the Holy Spirit road, and I wanted to sort of bring that back. Uh, we talked about courage um, a couple weeks ago, uh, one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, when it coming to kind of stepping out of our shell, out of our comfort zone. Uh, and today I wanted to focus on the gift of understanding. You know, again, the Holy Spirit just being the giver of gifts. And uh, my daughter, she's at the stage right now that's uh, probably very familiar for most parents where you say anything, you ask her to do anything, and her immediate response is, why? Um, even to questions that make absolutely no sense. So I think that goes a lot with this idea of, of understanding. We crave understanding even at a very young age. And when we don't fully understand things, we want, we want to get, gain that understanding. And I know for myself, when I was in high school, there was a student who, uh, during the summers, I'd played soccer with this student, and we'd be the best of friends. And then um, come the school year, uh, we'd get back into the swing of things, and all of a sudden, he hated me. Uh, and I remember one time he stole my bike, and um, I never really understood, but my mother said something that I always appreciated. Uh, she said, um, there's always a bigger picture. You know, and I think that helped me when it comes to times when I don't fully understand why things are happening, to always recognize that there's always a bigger picture there. And it helped me kind of open myself up to loving that individual uh, despite having a very hard time doing so. So I want to encourage all of us today just to sort of open ourselves up um, to the gift of the Holy Spirit, especially that gift of understanding. So if you want to join me today, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, we thank you for the gift of curiosity, uh, the gifts that, that inspire us to want to understand deeper things. And we just pray as well for uh, our limitations when we don't fully understand. God, we pray that we can draw closer to you and recognize that maybe we aren't always called to understand the big picture, but if the closer we stay to you, um, the closer we know that you do have a full understanding of all that is going on. 
And God, we pray that we can continually shower that love that you show us upon those we come in contact with, especially those that we don't fully understand. Just invite the Holy Spirit into our hearts, into our lives. And we open ourselves up to all the gifts that you desire to shower upon us. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Any students who place first or second in any of their events during our track and field day have to come down for a quick but mandatory meeting regarding the AABHN track and field meet that takes place on Thursday and Friday this week. Any students interested in trying out for junior football are required to grab a permission form in the phys ed office. The first tryout is Wednesday after school. Attention teachers, please excuse the girls rugby team tomorrow after period one. They will be gone for the rest of the day as they have two games in Waterford. Girls, please be dressed and ready to board the bus for 10.40 a.m. On Friday, the junior and senior boys rugby teams competed in the Guelph Centennial Cup rugby tournament. After a long day of rugby, both the junior and senior boys rugby teams won their divisions in the tournament. The two teams combined for 85 points and only allowed five points. Well done, boys. Today at the CAF, they have pierogies, chicken noodle soup, grilled cheese, BLTs on a bagel, BELTs on a bagel. That's all from me, Titans. Have a great day.